Nathan, thank you. Many of us have waited a long time and it is finally here. The NCAA tournament has tipped off and to make it even better, it begins in earnest for a lot of us around here. It's feeling like the 90s because the Razorbacks are legitimate contenders. With all that excitement in the air, TH 311's Mercedes McKay joins us live to show us how bars and restaurants are gearing up for the madness. Rolly, for many, the perfect way to march March Madness is at a crowded sports bar or restaurant with multiple TVs so you can watch any game you want. Well, obviously this year that's going to look a lot different. Restaurant owners told me they're excited for that rush, but they're not going to take any chances. After COVID-19 knocked out 2020's NCAA tournament, anticipation is high for the games to return. We are super excited about March Madness. And for everyone in Arkansas, that excitement intensifies, knowing the Razorbacks will be competing out on the hardwood. We've got high expectations, as I think a lot of Razorback fans do and we really, really hope that they, they go fairly deep into this thing. Restaurant owners like Don Dugan are also hoping for a win of their own. It could be the difference in paying rent for the, for the month of April and not paying rent for the month of April um, for a lot of restaurants and a lot of bars. With multiple TVs surrounding his pub, Dugan believes the big dance will bring in big business, but the possible rush won't change any rules. The restaurant will still only be at 66% capacity with mask wearing staying a requirement. The most important thing is, you know, we want people to feel comfortable being here. And if they see it's just packed elbow to elbow, then they're not going to they're not going to feel comfortable about coming in. Hill Station in Hillcrest is also looking forward to the crowds, but not letting their guards down. We've got lots of outdoor seating. Um, lots of TVs inside and outside. We've got a big screen and we're really ready to cheer on the Hawks. General Manager Kristen Bryan says their phone started ringing as soon as people found out what time the Razorback game would be. We were prepared to open early, but now that the game's not till 1145, we'll be here and ready to go. The 67 game tournament bringing everyone a little bit of hope and much needed excitement. Not only a boost to the community, but a, a boost to our employees. It's just nice to kind of feel like things are starting to get normal again. Both Hill Station and Dugan's Pub are not at 100% capacity just yet, but many restaurant owners I spoke to today said to call ahead or try to get there a little early if you want the best seats you can watch every single game this weekend. Live in Little Rock, Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News. Mercedes, thanks. Now, if you don't go someplace to watch the game, the Hogs will tip off at 11.45 in the morning. They will be on True TV. At the same time, CBS coverage of the tournament begins here on THV 11 at 11.15. We will have Florida versus Virginia Tech. Of course, we will have a complete wrap-up later on the Hogs game on THV 11 News at 5 and after all the games are done tomorrow night at 10 o'clock.